Okay, back on track. Uh, quick. Let's A S D W E R F T H R E R T H R U Y T M N H G. What does it spell? I have no idea. S word. Sorry, I realized I didn't sync. Oh my god! Scientists, run while you can. Before disaster is struck, that laser will cut you in half. So, we were here, I believe, before I accidentally alt tab to my desktop, and we screwed up the recording. Uh, well, not really, because I had finished that episode. But, hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life Source with Mio Fu. and last time I complained a lot about not being able to fight certain bugs very well. Oh, I see that there's a turret somewhere around here. Right there, in fact. Uh, and this time, this time... <laughs> this time, we witness the head crab in his native habitat. And we shoot a turret right off its tracks. Uh, hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Half-Life Source with Miox Fu. You might remember me from other LPs such as Assassin's Creed V. Templars in space! 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 And... Oh gosh! Hello there, head crab. I did not see you over there. Oh my goodness, this water looks beautiful. Well, it doesn't look beautiful compared to many others, but it's got the Half-Life 2 water physics, so it looks pretty cool. Um, what am I talking about? What am I talking about? I'm talking about nothing in particular. I'm wasting time. Oh my god, I can't believe I made that jump. Wait, why am I using you? I should not be using you. I should be using a better weapon. How did I... Can I, can I get back over those grates now? Probably not. I probably should not have been able to do that, period. Uh. Oh, I saw you, Mr. Shark. I saw you there. Doing your thing. You do your thing. You do your thing. I don't even know what that's from. I just know I've heard it, and it wasn't really that great. So we can't get back over there. Crap. Crappy crap crap crap. Crappity crap crap crap. Crabity crab crab crab. I know I've done that already, but whatever. Um, I do not want to fight the shark. I do not want to fight you. Because it's not fun. Because not only do I have to be underwater, but I have to waste precious crossbow ammunition. Well, maybe I can shoot you from here. Let's try that. At least the water is clear enough that I can see you. Oh my goodness, summer, speaking of water, is coming up and I cannot wait to go to the beach. Because I love swimming. I love swimming so much. And I did not get to swim once last summer. Oh, what are you doing there, Mr. Mr. Shark? You're just bouncing along like you're crazy. <laughs> Oh, goodness. <laughs> like, really, that's absolutely ridiculous. He just looks like he's just bouncing along. Ow. The heck, man, what am I doing to you? I'm just killing you. Alright, all set. Cool. Uh, I think we can actually use this guy to get up there. Maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. Okay, there we go. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> well, it was worth the try, wasn't it? Shoot, turrets. Of course, of course, it had to be turrets. It had to be turrets. It's always turrets. Ooh, this is interesting. Just be quick so you don't get crushed. Of course, I don't know how that they have it passing through the wall like that. Ooh, hello, leeches. Just don't mind me. Just let me go through in peace. Ow, ow. Jeez, I didn't even know there was steam there. Ah! What? Steam hurting me through the water! Ridiculous. Oh, oh. Go down. There we go. There we go. Sneak underneath, and we'll just do this all over again. 
No big deal. Where's the other head crab? Oh, there you are. Have a have a have a bullet. <laughs> Cuz there was actually this that I wanted to look at. Oh, no. It looks like See, from here it looks like that I can go underneath that. So that's what I was thinking, you know? I guess not. No, I'm pulling out the crowbar because I haven't used that in a while. Not on not on enemies at, at least. I mean, we're playing Half-Life, so we need a crowbar. Oh, okay, I get what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to use this, push it in the water, and I'm guessing it'll float. Yep. And then we're going to use that to jump over. Yeah, see, this one looks like it's unbarred underneath as well. So I'm thinking, oh, maybe they got a goodie down there. Nope, no such luck. And I get stuck on that little thing. And again. <laughs> I'll just jump through like I did before. Good enough for me. Cool. Actually... Reset my time. Once again, I forgot to set a timer. Reset and start. Cool. There we go. Oh my goodness, but while I was... Oh, while I was waiting for this all to... The audio and stuff all to... Rendering things so I could... Okay, bugs just crawling on the water. That's cool. <laughs> so I could record a new episode once it was done. I was looking up Black Mesa Source, which... If you've never played any of the Half-Life series before, Half-Life Source... Or, not Half-Life Source. Black Mesa Source is basically Half-Life Source, except completely redone, where uh, this Half-Life Source was just... They redid the lighting, um, updated some of the textures. It's still got the same polygon count. It still looks like it's from the 90s. Like, it's it looks nice, but it doesn't look that great. Like, I would play it, but not everybody would. Um, and that's too bad. But, 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 <laughs> I just like saying the word but. Um, <laughs> Black Mesa Source is completely redone and they've been working on it for quite a few years like they started in like 2008 I think why is it stuck no I do not want to drown underneath there thank you very much well we hit it like the least amount of uh, least amount and it stops jeez uh, but they started working on that in like 2001 or not 2001 2008 2001 would be so long ago that'd be like 12 years not 12 years. 11 years. We'll be getting into Duke Nukem territory by then. Um, and I hope not after that piece of crap came out. Um, but no, it's it still looks really good. Um, even compared to the new stuff. New AAA titles that are coming out. And I respect them for taking their time. Good thing I quick saved. <laughs> I really respect them for taking their time, though. Because they could just make it... They could just do it fast and just... Whoa. And just, uh... Release it as a shoddy product. But they're not. They're taking their time. And they're, make, they're making something beautiful. Which is what I... What is, which is what I care about. So... Let's try to get these guys. Ooh. Aw, oh, man. Got you right in the head. And then there's a tank. Can we get you? Yes, we can get you from here. Cool. Because I do not want to get close to you. Awesome. No snipers, right? I do not see anyone. My computer started to lag again. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Because I do. Because uh, well, I'm recording. Hoo hoo, I saw you. I don't think so. Uh, I don't think we can go through secure access, actually. So let's just check that one first. Because I don't want to run into the loading screen first. Nope, we can't go through there. Okay, cool. So I picked right to begin with. Oh, my goodness. But I mean, with that, 
and the rumors of Half-Life 3 swirling around last fall and all that. It's just, it's, it's exciting, you know, to be let's playing Half-Life. Half-Life Source, I should say. But it's still Half-Life. It's just exciting. Because, I, I, as you all know, I absolutely love this game. If I had to pick a favorite game, this might be it. Like, maybe Half-Life 2 might beat it out, because I love that one just as well. But, this is what got me into it. In fact, I want to tell you guys a story. A story that I will... Oh my goodness. That I will repeat once I do Half-Life 2. Which, you know, come on, I, I started the Half-Life series. I'm going to finish the Half-Life series someday. But anyway, I want to tell you guys a story about how I began my relationship with Half-Life, because I don't think I've told you guys that story. If I have, I'm very sorry. But it's such a cool story that I feel like I should be allowed to tell it at least twice. Maybe even more. Jeez, radiation, radiation, <laughs> radiation. <laughs> Radioactive waste on one side, soldiers on the other. We're not gonna get a break, man. Yeah, screw those guys. I don't wanna deal with them. Uh, but anyway, so this was, I think, like, 2001, something like that. Maybe 2002. I was, like, I was, like, right on the cusp of being a teenager, and I was getting Half-Life 2, because it was, it came out, it was the coolest thing I had ever seen in a video game. It was dark, it was gritty, it was beautiful. Beautiful! And you know what? It looked like it was fun. So, I went out, and it was a T-rated game, I believe. But I, I, I begged and pleaded with my mommy, and she was like, okay, you can get this. I'll go to GameStop with you, and I'll let you get this. And we got it. And that thing came on, like, four discs, I think, that you had to install. And then you had to go on Steam and register it all. It was Steam was really new to, st still at this time, too. Oh, yes. So. We can use the cannon. Oh, shoot. No, 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 no. Uh, what? What? I was trying to use the cannon and the machine gun at the same time. Oh, we gotta go through all this, too. I forgot to quick save. But, I begged and pleaded with my mommy, and she was like, fine, get your video game. So I did, and I got, um, I got Half-Life 2, and this thing came on four discs, which I was used to games taking, like, one or two discs maybe to install, but four discs? That was insane. So, th this was the time when we had, like, a dinky little 2001 IBM computer. Oh, we pinned him to the wall! Love when that happens. Anyway, this was when we had, like, a dinky... Ooh, can we do that? Oh, not with that guy, but we pin this guy to the wall. Look, he's off the ground. <laughs> Ooh, right through the chin. That's gross. But anyway, we had a little dinky little com IBM computer from 2001. But, you know, it, it said it would be able to run it and everything, so I, I tried it. And it was able to run it. And things were good. Because I was playing Half-Life 2. Right? Wrong. Because the thing was that they had actually packaged the wrong CD key with the game. And instead of being Half-Life 1, it was instead Half-Life 2. Uh, it wasn't Collector's Edition, but it was something like that. It was the Half-Life 2, Half-Life 1 Ultimate Pack, which included Half-Life 1. Half-Life Opposing Force, Half-Life Blue Shift, which we'll both be doing both of those, Codename Gordon, uh, Counter-Strike, Team Fortress Classic, and I think a couple other things that were always free on Steam. I was disappointed for a while, as any kid would be, because I was thinking, you know, I'm getting this cool game, Half-Life 2, that I was waiting so long for. But then, I get Half-Life 1. What is this crap? This doesn't look like the shiny new game that I was expecting. This was not shiny at all. 
But then I put, then I popped it in, and I found this masterpiece waiting for me. And not only that, but two other extremely good games. Oh shoot. Because I do, I, I don't love Half-Life Opposing Force as much as I love this game, and I don't, or no, I don't love Half-Life Blue Shift as much as I love this game. I don't like, love Half-Life Opposing Force nearly as much as I love this game. But they're both fantastic games. And so, what happened was I fell in love with the Half-Life series. And a couple years later, I got Half-Life 2. And that, my friends, is the story of how I learned to Half-Life 2. <laughs> oh, shoot, 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 shoot. There we go. Did we get the other guy? Probably not. Did we get that? Yes, we did! Oh, thank the, thank the RPG. Uh, we're really low on health, though, so I'm going to save. And that, my friends, is the story of how Equestria was made. Or, well, no, that's my story with Half-Life 2. So, anyway. <laughs> that is why I love this game. Because I was forced to love this game. And I will force all of you to love this game. Oh, or so help me. No, I'm kidding. I know quite a few people. Lom decor. Oh my god. I know quite a few people don't watch these videos. I know Torno Tornado Leaf watches them. And he always comments on them. And he is by far very awesome. Look at Lambda Reactor Complex. Oh my god, this is so cool. Wish I knew how to take a, a screenshot. <laughs> um... I know Amanda said she was going to watch him, but I don't think she has. Because I don't think she's been playing any Half-Life, but... Whatever. <laughs> oh, there it goes. I was like, w okay, you gonna... Gonna come down for us? And I think Kirk64 watches the odd video. And I know... Rock Paper Mario said that, uh... He doesn't watch a video unless he's planning to comment on it, so... I'm pretty sure he's watched a few videos. Oh, I see you up there. You're not getting away from me. You can't hide from me. <laughs> where is that from? It's some video game where it's like... Whoa. Where you're like trying to hide from someone and it's like, You can't hide from me. <laughs> I don't remember what video game, though. Oh, man. Oh, it's probably Star Fox, you know? Wait, why would it be Star Fox? You don't hide from anybody in Star Fox. It's probably Star Fox, though. <laughs> oh, head crabs. Can't wait until you get a texture update. You look so much prettier. Or is this, you just look like bald heads? <laughs> no, it's not. We just got health back. Oh, goodness. Well, first... I didn't mean to switch to the shotgun. What what, what witchcraft is this? I was on the sh I was on the good, wholesome crowbar used to whack in people, fa people head crabs' faces. I almost said people. I did say people, but then I corrected myself. Used to whack in head crabs' heads and just being all around Good old time. Oh man, we haven't seen a scientist in forever. Actually, I'm gonna let you guys go for now. This has been Mihox Fu on Let's Play Half Life Source. Take it easy. I almost said <laughs> it's been Mihox Fu with Let's Play Half Life Source with Mihox Fu. <laughs> um, take it easy.